championships in two days and only one team is in line to win them both. Can Munster add to the already overflowing trophy cabinet of Nathan Nichols as they enter for the first time under the guidance of Nichols, the European Championship Grand Final Munster versus Treviso. Here is where it ends. Hello everyone and welcome on to Cornflakes Trip, your home of Rugby Challenge 3 and the Nathan Nichols Beer Pro Career where we have made the biggest dance of them all. Yes, we've made World Cup Finals. Yes, we've made Super Rugby Finals. We've done a lot under the career of Nathan Nichols. But a European Championship Final, this one is right up there with the biggest. And to be taking on Treviso in this match as bizarre as it is as well. Normally strugglers, these guys, along with Zebri, have really turned over a new leaf in recent years. Today, it is a European Championship final. Of course, next episode will be the Pro 12 final against the Scarlets. Today, though, full concentration on this Treviso side. We've spoken about them much like Zebri. We've beaten them. We've lost to them. There is no tomorrow again. This is where it ends. We are winners, we are losers, and Treviso are the ones standing in our way. Last time we took this team on, one Williams, the number 13, was in phenomenal form until he got injured. I do notice he's back and in quickly into the starting lineup. Clear at fullback as well. Was doing the kicking last time we met these guys, so we should see if he is still on that bus but those are two dangerous dangerous players we need to look out for their pack forms well they offload a hell of a lot and they are a dangerous side that you cannot give too much space to like i said we've beaten them before but we lost to the same team as well what results will come to a true treviso today probably more of the question we want to know is what result will come to munster today the side unchanged i mean we, I think, injured two players from Zebri last episode, none from our own. So poor old Zebri and nursing an a, a, a injury ward. We are, we are looking fit as ever. No injuries in the side heading into this game. And of course, Nathan Nichols is key if he is to stay fit, that that does go our way. We spoke about last episode, it's the big guys standing up, Ashley, Sheriff Rook, Castex, Gibson. We've seen a huge performance from the likes of Riley and Vidler last episode as well. Nathan Nichols sparked the start, but it was the others, Herb as well, Everson, who carried it on to lead us to victory. Treviso is going to be a tough nut to crack. If we can do it, we will be European champions. That will be the biggest crown of them all. Again, it's pouring refrain, which it's not good. What is going on here with the weather conditions? It was pouring a frame now, semi final. Now it's pouring a frame in the big European final. Underway we go. And no surprise, Williams on the ball straight away, Please. stealing our kickoff. And instantly we go into defensive mode. We've got to make sure we hold this line. Our defense was impeccable last episode. Please. So we've got to keep that up here again today. We are very narrow which is serving us nicely yes. as they keep it very narrow on attack as well. They go finally out wide and straight away they're in behind our offensive line. The kick goes up, Williams is chasing. We could trail very early on and we won't. We hang on, defensively very good. Jocelyn kicks it away and thank everything about Munster. We hang on. Three man tackle there, Gibson, yes. Nichols doing the last of it. Gibson getting straight up and doing another one. It's a turnover ball. And it's there for Nathan. He's running away, breaking through a tackle. Gets a friend, and well, I don't know what Jocelyn's doing there on the right wing, but here goes Everson. Great little run for the scrum half. Cuts it back with a crossfield kick. Few chases. Green jersey leading there first. And oh, great tackle. Lost ball, knocked on. And Munster get it back through Nathan Nichols. Run away from Ashley. He gets a couple of more metres the hard way. Eberson, Eberson, still going Eberson. Back inside to Rock, and Rock will score. Munster strike first. There's five men on the European final. Eberson 
is playing out of his skin early on. And Rook gets just reward for his performances over the season. Look at Eberson go. Head Nichols on the outside. That drew in a lot of attention. He popped it in to his blindside flanker, Rook. Who did the absolute rest. This was perfect. Castex right there on hand as well. That is what Munster believe in. And that is what they've delivered in a pouring rain yet again. No penalties. No, no, no. Doesn't matter if it's raining. Doesn't matter if it's sunny. It is try time for Munster every time. No real breeze here to speak of, which is the only contrast to the semi-final we had last week. So Nichols will just have to not slip over as he chips his kick over nice and easy. It was fairly close to the upright, so 7-0. Nichols adds the extras. It's an early try for Rook, and it's an early lead for Munster. So Clear is not doing the general play kicking, interestingly enough. I wonder if he'll be on the tee. I'll, I'll be quite happy if we don't find out the answer to that question. As once again, Williams is going down and Castex this time. Steals it out of his grasp. Casey. He misses one out and goes by the Emerson, who's been the golden... No, oh, no! He's no, he's no, no, no! He's been the golden man, and now he's injured. Emerson goes down. He doesn't look happy. A shake of the head. And we've got Devos back in the side. Why? Why? We were playing so well. Emerson was leading the line. He was the creator of our try. And now we've got Devos. Not a bad replacement, let's be Crouch. fully honest about it. He's, he's had a fair bit of time in the uh, number nine Set. jumper, has young Devos. I don't know if he's actually that young at all, but um, regardless, we've lost the scrum. And I'm standing in my own and goal. So bad goes to Warris for Munster. His offload's coming pretty hard at the moment from Treviso. Release. And we're on the back foot. Pick and go. Looks dangerous. How wide they come. We got that defensively shut up nicely though. And somehow he gets through three defenders. Release. We are on the back foot. Massively nowhere to go here. Nichols. Oh dear, Nichols is going completely the wrong way. Hold that man down. Release. Get up, Nathan, for goodness sake. Short side, no one time. Bumps away one. Should have hung on to it. Could have been the try scorer. Offload, still coming. Left and right. Gibson getting a hand with her. I'm going to jump out of light here and smash him if he gets this ball. There we go. The offload was good. They get him, Tomo. Inside pass. Across comes to Shed. No one will stop that, though. And it will be... Oh, dead and go! Wow, what defence from Munster! We should be sitting under our sticks right now, thinking about the poor things we've done in this game. But as a result of that, we have survived to some superb defence. Nichols shakes his heart and makes a tackle too, takes a player. Oh, wow, right out of the game as Thompson goes flying without a defender on him. Oh, a monster of a hit there from Sheriff. We are looking vicious in defence. 7-0 the score. Treviso will be frustrated. They will be angry. They've overcooked a real chance to score. And now they've lost 70 metres to boot. And maybe the ball. No. Not quite enough there from Munster. Pick it go. Slicing it back inside. We've got a pretty blue boost in the game. Just to keep you all aware of what's going on. Nathan. Chases the defender and chases... The tackle, I should say. Still to be so attack. Here he is, but he boots. He pops it inside nicely to Williams. Williams trying to link up out wide. But Thompson pulls it down and he kicks. Kicks towards the corner. Pressure on the. Oh, whoa, whoa, where'd that go? Are you serious? Are you serious that that actually stayed and went into touch? Whoa, that was perfect. The fullback missed it. Two minds whether to attack it or defend it. Let it go. And at that, it's one of the best kicks I've seen into the corner. Thompson, well played. Here is Nathan Nichols. Oh, runs into a brick wall of defence. Gets it almost back out to halfway. Don Lurila, haven't mentioned this day very much, as Ashley has a rare little jiggle to the left side. Here's the big lap. 
nowhere to go there for Midler. Devos. Away to Thompson. Now Thompson's are behind. Throws a dummy. Thompson. Oh no. High tackle. High tackle from the Treviso fullback. Surely that has got to be a professional foul. That would have been a try if he didn't go high. Claire has survived. And probably he should be sitting on the sideline. But Captain Nichols has said, now is when we take three. 28 minutes in. He's a good 35 metres out. Strikes the shot and goal. It's on target. It's got the legs. Too easy. 10-0 Munster. Lead in the European final. They hold the upper hand early against Treviso. The front runners, the runaway leaders, the team to beat in the competition. They look like no one would stop them, but Munster have the confidence in the heart to have this lead so far here tonight. Big occasion this as well. Packed house and terrible rhythm. But they all come out to see the big dance in the final. It's a turnover. They lost it very quickly. And it's been picked up by C from Munster. Tackled backwards, an interesting um, strategy of the tackle there by the Treviso defender. And we will get a scrum feed just short of our own 10 metre line. Ouch. Devils back in the side. He'll have the feed. I wonder Set. how long the song's going to be up for. Why is that not set right? Scrum packs in. And give I wait for it in the back. Scrum is something that we could, well, like the lineouts, very easily lose here. Devos goes to Herb. Herb steps and switches play back to Custex. He goes back to Sherry. Nice. And Devos stands there like he's just being smacked with a big plank of wood. And Nichols, well, had to kick it that way. Bizarre kick that I wasn't intending on making. And they'll run it back through Claire and the offload. Well, that's a very, very good offload too. Just keeping the ball alive here. Ah, to be so they're isolated as ever. How's that not a penalty? Mr. Referee. That's it. Someone's going to get smashed. What? Whoa, 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 whoa. How did he get that kick away? I call absolute rubbish on that. I had him wrapped up like an early morning Christmas present. Yet the ball somehow got kicked away. So we have a line out of our own 22. 10 nil is a score. Teresa would love to make it 10 7 before the break. Nicholson Co. will be desperate for that not to happen. That was a, a really messy situation there. Nichols gets away with it though. Going to Devos and then back to Casey. Back to Nathan and again we want to kick. Ah, that's not good. That was carried back. So should be back where it was kicked from. Although I'm not sure that ruling was implemented when this game come out. So I'll take it because we're up over... Where are we? Over halfway. And half time is wrong. They've turned over their line out as well. European final is in the hands of Munster at the moment. One hand on the trophy at the 40 minute mark. Everything compresses up. It goes wide to Nathan, who throws it away to no one in particular. And that was that was scrappy. That was poor. And Devos, no, that wasn't Devos had to clean that up. It's uh, carry on anyway. It's a wide comes Casey. Casey's got Gibson with him. He draws the fence out wide. Goes to Gibson. Gibson breaks one. And we're almost at the 22. Out to Cashy goes beautifully inside to Custex. Custex back to Nichols. Nichols back to Devos now. And we lose it. We've lost the ball. And it's kicked away eventually from Treviso. A great kick too. One bounce into touch. And that will be half time. What an agonizingly close way to finish. That could have been as bad as 17 0 for Treviso. Munster well and truly in control of that first half and they lead it by 10 points to zip. Let's have a look at the stats here. Possession and territory pretty even aren't they? Treviso lead by a whisker on possession. Munster lead by an even smaller whisker on a territory. Both sides kicking away a lot of ball as well on these terrible weather conditions without much of a breeze. So the rain is just coming directly down onto the field as well. 
surprisingly, only three handing errors for the game, uh, which is pretty good, but the penalty goal was from the high tackle. Any months to that point of difference here, if they really get this one close, that three points could be crucial. Ten nil. Half time. European final. Nathan Nichols and Munster lead the way here at the 40 minute mark and underway we go, second half in the pouring rain great tackle Boys. Nathan great tackle Nathan indeed almost skimming a turnover there for the men in red as the gaps start to show as three, so break through the line and this could be a clear on away for a try Nichols is running hard Devos is coming across it's a corner, it's a chase Nichols saves the day got to be a penalty, come on! 90 metres has changed hands. They cut it back, to be so. Nichols is very slow to get up. Back to the full complement of players on the field now with Nichols up on his feet. Turnover! Oh, that was good. Ashley, I don't care if it went 1 metre or 100 metres, Ashley. We got the ball back and we smacked it away. Treviso have to reset. Outside the 22. 45 gone. Keep an eye on the clock. To the back of the line. And it goes just out of the grasp of Castex. A small blind side. If they want to use it, they go to a pretty blue boot. Oh, throws to the pass. Was spectacular. The catch was unexpected. And the ball has been knocked on. Get out of jail card here for Munster. It was a sublime pass. Crouch. Just wasn't expecting it. Mind. Couldn't control it as well. Set. Get him from Devos. Oh no, we've gone backwards in a major way too. Losing a good five metres there. Ball will be back to Treviso. Can't even see what's happening. They cut out half the team. They go well out wide. Ford slowly icing it back in. Numbers out wide. They want to use it. No, they go inside instead. Release. Clever play. Very clever play. Pick and go. Short pass. All that man coming a mile away. Had him covered easily. Still there, Treviso. Winding down the clock. This is very tight at the moment. Nichols picking his battles. A turnover from Thompson. Who drills this away. And a spectacular kick from Tomo Thompson puts it way oh and an even better result it is out by Claire who tried to save it we've got a full on 60 metre turnaround right there from the Thompson kick that is what game changing moments look like my friends but losing a line out switches it straight back the other way they come wide the defence of Munster switch and turn and Nathan will go nowhere near that ball as it dribbles into touch. Relieving the blushes of fullback clear. And back towards the Munster 22 we go now. This game is going end to end. Neither side getting the ultimate chance to put points on the board in the second 40. Just yet another line out turnover. Becoming a bit of a concern now for Munster. There's a lot of room through the middle. They drop it behind. They should have carried on going to the middle there. All to play for. Trophies on the line today and next episode. Up it goes. Nathan takes it in. Needs some red friends and he gets them too as they trundle back from the last breakdown. Herve. Straight up and into the next one. Go all those Munster boys. Castex back to Devos who will kick. And I mean, that's kind of what we we're looking for. A little bit more depth would have been good. But Devos. Filling the role of Eversant, who's going to be playing in that in the Pro 12 final next episode. Will we be European champions at that point? Oh, goodness me, who knows? They're on 60 minutes gone, and another line out is won easily by Treviso. They keep going, turning around the corner, and they keep it light, and they keep it tight. They like that little play with the defender runs to the line and drops it off short to a player behind. Drop goal, it looked like. Decided to pass it back, and so she makes a good tackle. Turnover again, and that will be back where he kicked it from. Sheriff drilling that one into the 10th row. 
of the back tier. And it just eats up a bit of time, doesn't it? Which is a decent result. It seems like Custex and Gibson at second and third receiver there as we turn it over. Home! Away it goes to Riley. Wide out to Thompson. Fiddler's even out there as well. Back to Custex. No one wants to get the ball to Nichols, but a high tackle. Sean McCard, Sean McCard, come on, ref. This is too close and too tense. We're going to go for touch. Nathan hits it high, high towards it. Oh, he saved it. Oh, man, it's not good for us at all. But he's running to touch, is he? No. He somehow kept that in, which, I mean, full credit to him. Don't know how he did that. Double, double full credit, because that should have been out twice. Police. So Treviso get a slice of their luck back the other way. As Hove puts in a punishing Police. hit. Something will break this game wide open. Or will it stay 10 points to nil? Wicked on the pass now, and it's two on one against Nathan. They finally decide to go for the pass. Now they commit the man, and it goes away to Williams. And Williams will score. It's game on. That's what will break it open. It's a try to Williams, and this one is well and truly alive. It looked like the defence of Munster may shake this one in their favour but just when it looked like that was going to happen it broke apart with a five on two defensive laps for Munster giving them far too many opportunities look at that look at them fall through there when there was four defenders possible carrier four attackers I should say possible carrier up against Nathan Nichols not much he could do he had to commit to someone the offload to that man there, Old Williams, far, far too good. 10-5 becomes 10-7 right in front. Too easy. It's superstar on superstar, Old Williams, Nathan Nichols, European Cup final. 12 minutes to play. It's a no-brainer about this kickoff. Nathan Nichols goes high and he goes deep. He chases hard. It holds up in the wind. And then he puts in a big tackle. But again, the offload comes away beautifully. Police. They don't get too much ground away. Oh, this could be. It's a turnover. It's a turnover. Where do we run? Do we sit in the pocket? Do we go for a drop goal? Is that going to help us? I don't think it really is. It's turned over instantly, though. And Blue Boots now it's away. Now we are in trouble because we've got no one back there. It's another runaway. This could be the loss of Europe. It's going to be a second try and minutes to Treviso. They look for the corner. It is none other than Owen Williams with a double. Oh, the heartbreak. The heartbreak is real. We've made it all the way here. We had a 10 0 lead and then Owen Williams happened. Why did we commit to that pass? We should have hung back. We could have shut that down. Got a bit too excited. Now we're paying the price. It's down in a tackle. And Williams is far too quick for the rest of the players. Still first man there. I couldn't cut him off in the corner. Treviso lead by two. They could make it four, which will mean the try. In the last eight minutes of the game will be all we need. Conversion is good, so a drop goal or a penalty will not be enough. We need the ball. 14-10 the score. Treviso, they hold the upper hand in these dying moments of the match. Unfinished business. Maybe sitting around for Nathan next season if the result does not go our way. It goes short and it goes high and it's regathered. From who else but Ashley? Tonga Rila. Bit of a run for himself here. Nathan Nichols. Police. Somehow got through that couple of tackles there. Devos. It's there. It's Jocelyn. Trying not to get involved. We have to get involved. Turf. Where to cut sticks. In behind for Rook. Rook's there. Give it Rook. Away to Nathan. Oh, we're going to do it. Put it down. That's a game. 15-14, Nathan scores, Rock broke hearts, and Munster will not have unfinished business because they could be European champions. Castex beautifully.
halfway to Rook. The background partnership. Nathan saw the defenders all converging on Rook. And there was four monster players out wide waiting for that golden pass. The rain doesn't matter because the hands of Nichols are golden. Why bother to put it close? We had to put that down as soon as possible. Can't take a chance here. Four minutes to go. Is there another twist in this one? Or will this be enough for Munster? The kick is good, but it's slightly irrelevant. The lead is back to three. It's 14-17. Munster over Treviso. We have three minutes to go. Treviso kick off. Now they go short. No surprise about that. Flying through Tongarina. Everyone jumps in to hold on to the ball. It is all about possession now. Harv fires it out wide. Big pass two looking for Rook. Everyone's jumping in every breakdown. One minute to go. Gibson to Jocelyn. Goes back to Castex. He steps, he slides. Nichols secures. Devos. Back to Vidler. Back to Jocelyn. Back in to Sheriff. I want to win this ball. Come on, team. Get in here. Help out. Team. Oh, that was too close. Kick it out, Devos. Kick it out. Kick it out. Don't try and score another. Thank you. Oh, Fiddler. Fiddler, I love you. We are European champions of the world. Not really the world. Big of Europe. Champions of Europe. A monster. We have done it. Took it to the depth of the game. Went behind with minutes to go. But heroes have become from players of the game of rugby. Treviso distraught. Munster will celebrate long into the night. The penalty goal. The difference in full time. 10 nil it was for so long. Then Treviso stormed back. Two tries to Owen Williams. After Rook's try with Nichols' penalty goal got Munster off to a flyer. Treviso comes storming back through Owen Williams. Then things got tight. Eight, seven minutes to go. Then it was time for Munster to really dig deep. It was a beautiful play through the back rowers. Castex was involved. Rook was involved. But there was one man who you always trust to finish the job. And his name is capitalised with N and N. Nathan Nichols. One try to him. Two conversions and the penalty goal. Munster 17, Treviso 14. European champions are Munster. Out of the match, look overall. Well, we didn't have the possession. We didn't have the territory. It didn't matter. What we do have is the lead. And it is full time. And then, my friends, it's all that matters. Because Munster have defied the odds and are European champions. We will go to the Pro 12 final as European champions as well. Look at that bottom row there. Tackles. We made 22 more tackles than Treviso. We were on the back foot. For a good portion of that game, we defended. The try, that didn't stand because it was tackled over the dead ball line. That was game changing. The knock-ons, there was plenty of those. The injury to Eberson, that could have all been different. But it has panned out that Munster are your European champions. I cannot say that enough times. Nichols has yet another trophy. Speaking of him, how'd he go? So well. Let's not, let's not beat around the bush here. He was amazing. One try, two conversions, 15 tackles. A penalty goal and a hand here to boot as well. In the pouring rain, it is a glorious day to be a Munster fan because we are European champions. There is the trophy. Hold that aloft. Hold it with pride. Nathan Nichols grabs another trophy. Seems to be all he can do is win trophies. What is going on here? Did we not make any line breaks? Surely that's something wrong there. We made we made plenty of line breaks in that game. Um, we European champions. Oh yes, 
We've done it! That game was absolutely on edge the whole time. I thought we might hold on to that 10-0 lead for the whole match, but no. Owen Williams is just too good for that to happen. We stormed back. Oh, I mean, I can't believe we won it. That was hard. It was hard to win. It was hard to try and contain just yelling blabble nothingness at the top of your voice. Um, something's gone astray here. We only completed one of our objectives. I'm sure we didn't win a contest or a drop goal. I'm pretty sure we made um, a couple of line breaks, but um, didn't get an offload either. Who cares? Nothing went down. It is all good, though, for Nathan. Point one on passing, catching, and mental. Let's see what he rated. Ooh, just an 8.8. Wow, we didn't make any line breaks. That's amazing. Normally, that's just a, a given that you make the line breaks easily. A lot of running meters, a lot of kicking meters. We did do a lot of action in this game. 15 tackles is a monumental amount for Nathan Nichols. A handing error to boot, a couple of missed tackles, but an 8.8 .8 and a lot of interest from the runners up. Treviso, I mean, credit to them. A great side, beaten us before, but they couldn't do it on the big stage. There you go, everyone. Enjoy it. We have done it. We come to this team as a player of high quality to a team that was pretty average. We've dragged them kicking and screaming through games where Nathan has scored 28 points all by himself, if not more. To a team now that majority scores the points by themselves. Yes, Nathan kicks. We won't include those. But even look at the final. Only their last try was scored by Nathan on the back of the team doing the line break and getting him behind the defense. That is the rewarding part for me, how we have transformed this team and possibly what could come next season if we stay here. I mean, do we stay here? If we win the Pro 12, is there anything left to achieve here at Munster? I thought this would be at least a two season, if not a three season, four season job with Munster because the team was so bad. You've seen Jocelyn. You've seen what Jocelyn offers this team. And I'll tell you what it is. It's sweet stuff all. We're pretty much playing with 14 players out there. He doesn't tackle. He can't beat a man. And he hardly catches the ball as well. Straight away, you're at a disadvantage. But somehow, we have just won Europe. With, with, with a player like Jocelyn out on the wing, which is just absurd. We have done it though, so... Well done, and congratulations to the Munster side. We have the injury. Let's take a look at the inbox here. Everson is out for three weeks. That is a shame. Um, we see him down here. He's out for 19. I can't change a team, so what's it doing there asking me? Um, I'd imagine Devos, 64 rated, will come in. What are we losing? Oh, 76. That's a bit to lose. Um, I mean, Sosa could come in as well. Oh, we also have yeah, Devos, 64, Sosa... I mean, this is what I'm talking about. Look at the, look at these players. The whole reserves, apart from Decalion, is under 50. It's really under 45. Uh, we got a, I mean, Sexton is 43. We've got a couple of 60s in the reserves. Um, I mean, Ryan is a 65, and O'Donoghue is a 66. Probably should be starting, to be fair, um, in the front row and the back row. I mean, oh, no, these guys are good. Rook, Rook is a champion. Uh, Ashley, Sheriff, Rook, Custex, Gibson... Outstanding players, but we still have one job to do. One job left. That one will remain in the mind forever. One of our great victories, but this one. This one is what it all comes down to. Let's advance, shall we? See what happens. There it is. There is the prospect we have. The final game of the season. Munster versus the Scarlets. Who's gone into scrum half? It is Devos. They've gone with what played in the last match. And the Belgian will be starting at number nine. I don't mind that. Devos has played a lot with us. Eberson was coming into some rare season-only form. But um, unfortunately, we will miss out on him. I mean, Thompson's only 59. Yet he is a magical little player. And Riley is a 46 and he can do some great things. Fiddler is our star. Uh, Jocelyn is a waste of space. But um, Nathan Nichols, of course, at fullback, is the golden boy. Get your thinking caps on. Where do we go next season? 
where do we go? Have a look at this as well. Um, what am I even looking at? Nathan. Where do I, where do I see it? No, that's not what I want to look at. Where do we look at here? Uh, statistics? Here we go. This one I want to look at. Look at that. Oh, it's not even on there. Not even on there. Euro Nations? No, that's the Six Nations. It's not even on there yet. Oh, that's not good enough. Where's our, where's our most recent great win of the European Championship? What a shame it's not there. But look at all the trophies we've won. We are rugby world-class superstars. Here's what Nathan looks like. I'll leave you with this as we round out today's episode. We've won Europe. I'm exhausted after that game. It was far too close, but I expected nothing less. And to the point, I was starting to think that we are going to fall short and that we have to come back and do this next season and try and reclaim what went wrong. We haven't had to. We've done it, and now everything is in our hands. If we win the Pro 12, we could happily move on to another part of the world, or do we try and dominate in this competition? That is where Nathan sits. He is the world's best, and he is almost done for another year. Next episode, Pro 12 final. Hope to see you all there for that one. If you enjoyed the series, uh, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And if you enjoyed today's video with that close full win over Treviso, do hit that thumbs up as well. Until next time, though, thanks for watching, as always. And until our big final, our second big final in as many episodes, take care.